Hello everybody, Jeff Gamer here with an episode of Soma. Some of you might have actually seen that I've done a few episodes of these a while back, but this one's actually different. Uh, well, it's actually the same game, but uh, right now, if you would love to give this game a shot for yourself and you have PlayStation, PlayStation Plus, it is free for this month of December. So go out, throw it in your library, even if you don't even know if you want to play it, throw it in your library. Always do that. Because if it's a free game, you have PlayStation Plus, you can throw it in your library, and you can always download it and play it later. I'm going to do... Uh, I don't want to do safe mode, so I'm just going to do normal mode. So we're just going to start. But, yeah, like I said, right now, as as of right now, uh, actually yesterday, this is Tuesday, uh, it's free. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was yesterday. It was like, sometime yesterday it served me as free, and then there's another game that's free. And I might play it. Play that other game too, but right now I want to do some Soma. And, uh. So, that, yeah, like I said, but I have done it before, but I'm gonna go ahead and start over. Uh, just because. It's, a, it's gonna be a little different, uh, control wise, because when I did it before, I did it with the P, uh, PC, so. Reality is which when you stop believing in it, that's a good way. Are you okay, Simon? Oh, I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. It's red. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Okay. I get it now. He's oh, he's trying to tell her something in his dreams. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Alright, I remember where it's at, but I know there's a few things that I need to actually uh, do. Okay, so these are going to be about the same controls as uh, the Where last. did I put the tracer fluid? Oh yeah. Has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Nope. Drafts. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Better late than never. Thank you for your participation. I can read. And our research the scan will be performed in the uh, Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we're a guest, our Access is a bit unpredict unpredictable. Okay, I will try to schedule a uh, scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prozasan, I don't know what that says, to help you oops, excuse me, with your nightmares. Please, read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. That's cool. Supposed to be like a way I can 
moving out. I want that. Alright. A second. Use rotate with this, or I can just use my analog stick. Get well soon. Love, Mom. That's adorable. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Yeah, right. Radioactive tracer fluid. I don't think I can read anything else in here. I thought it was Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Huh. Oh, maybe he's like cleaning on the drawers. Saying it. Maybe they changed it. Okay, yeah, this is gonna get confusing. Well, poop. Where did I put it? There it is. Oh. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Gross. I thought that glow it was glowing, I guess not. Huh. Alright. So now I gotta go out the door. I do apologize about all the coughing. If I do cough a lot, I have not been feeling great uh, for almost a week now, so I'm going to get through it. Nothing works anymore, I tell you. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. He's going to. He's going to burn it down. I don't know what he's doing. It's all a lie. It's stinking off a lie. There's always one. Won't find me in a boat. Big setup. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. Hello? Stuff. Dr. Munchie? Switch. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. That's a beautiful picture. I gotta figure out the password, I don't remember. It's like two five zero one.
I hate it when it does that. When it like, because usually what in games when it tells you it's time to sprint. Oh hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Doctor Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mister Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So. What exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get in the chair and get get up and run. This is one of those ones that feels like they should do a VR version of it. I think they might have already. I don't know. But I think it's really cool. It's All right. Really Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Yes. Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese! Mr. Munchie? Munchie? Did something go wrong? Really dark. I can barely see. This isn't funny. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Right, so I need that tool thing. Don't remember where to get it. I know a lot of this stuff right around here is just jump scares. It's still scary. That's not the way. I guess this do not enter, but there's actually no way to enter. I really like that, how you have to actually like actually open the door. You don't just push a button, you actually have to use the analog stick to move it around. Loopy stuff coming from the walls. from the future. I don't remember everything I'm supposed to do. Oh, it's 
working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, <laughs> safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? How did I turn something on? I actually didn't know that was an access door. Choking on my own saliva. Okay, remember that. Ah, see, I don't remember that last time. So it's these robots that are running around. You learn things when you do multiple walkthroughs. R1, I was, I was holding that one. Omni tool, that's right. I thought it was down here. And there's the where I came from. just got killed. Yeah, I think that's what might have just happened. Check. On the tour. AI Helper Jane. See your inventory. Oh. Okay. The Omni tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate, automate routine actions through basic logic charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as the opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to the workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide uh, operators into the main 
or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows users to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitter, fitting a large range of tool chips models, including but not limited to AI113, 398B, A2090, 101X, Hey, hi, TT, 1 through 9, and then 3 through 20. On the smart access. Alright, I don't think I need anything else. I just have to go back to where I started. Oh, man, I hate being sick. Just carry this with me. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Or exit, remote access denied, servers offline, army tool, manage tool chip, unlock toolbox. Tool chip found. Manage tool chip, update. Security cipher updated. Oh, I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. Access denied, server is still offline. Inventory, okay, okay, unknown, can contamination, okay, in use, in use. Oh, those are the suits. And that's it, okay. Right, I've been recording for a little bit longer than I wanted to. It's going to be a long recording, so we're going to go ahead and stop there. I got, I'm actually, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm right where I left off the last time, but I did a couple episodes for that, and this one I've only done one. So, if you'd like to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope it gets better. It definitely should. It looks like a really scary game. Like I said, if you have PlayStation and PlayStation Plus, right now it is free on for PlayStation Plus users. So, if you like the game and you want to play it for yourself, go download it it's free. Free is always good. But like I always say, thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I hope to see you in the future.